The actors Sarah Parrish and James Murray have been visiting Southampton's Children's Hospital today to celebrate raising half the money needed to build a new emergency department. Yes, the couple run a charity in memory of their daughter Ella Jane who was cared for at the hospital before she died due to a congenital heart defect when she was just eight months old. Well, one million pounds has been raised over the past 18 months, which is being matched by government money. It means that work on the new building could begin soon. Here's Richard Slee. Sarah Parrish and husband James Murray have a passion for this hospital and the staff who work hard for the patients who rely on it. What they're not so keen on is the building. What they'd like to see for patients like five-year-old Daniel with a complicated arm fracture is a more pleasant and efficient place to be treated, somewhere larger, brighter, with new and improved facilities for all the family. And now that could soon be possible. I think it's always good for us to come back and recalibrate and, and remember why we're doing this, what we're doing it for, who we're doing it for. It's great to meet the children and the parents and hear how they're getting on, what their views are of the hospital. It's always very positive, isn't it? Yeah, to come out and see this and be reminded uh, what we're raising money for and what's needed is a great encouragement for us to then go back to work and keep going. On this visit, James and Sarah met the Walker family. Two years ago, nine-year-old Connie suffered a serious head injury and spent five months in this hospital. Mum Caroline remembers the day they arrived at the children's emergency department like it was yesterday. When you come in in a situation like that, it's all a bit of a blur. But I do remember it being very busy and being small rooms. And I think, although the people were fantastic, and I can't fault anybody for that, of course, the facilities need to match the expertise. Our estate is, is a little tired. Um, you know, it, it is purpose-built, but it is tired, and most of it was built in the 1970s, and so what we are looking for is to improve on that and deliver, deliver the, the service that we believe the children of Southampton and the South Coast deserve. But it's been a long time coming. Work started here eight years ago, and since then, a lack of cash has meant the shell has been left empty. This fundraising milestone means that hopefully building work will begin here again in the next few months. And 12 months after that, the city could have a brand new children's emergency department. Richard Slee, ITV News, Southampton.